Thank you for joining us today. My name is Brittany and I'll be guiding us through our deep flow practice. And today we have Shannon joining us for the class. We're going to be using a few props. And if you don't have them at your home, that's okay. They're not necessary. Um, one of the props we'll be using is blocks. So if you do have blocks at your house, you can just grab them and place them by your mat. If you don't have any blocks, then a thick book might work as well. For some postures, you might find it a bit more comfortable to use either a blanket rolled up or you can use a pillow, a bolster. And that brings us to our next prop, which is a bolster. This one is not necessary, but it's nice. And if you don't have a bolster, a pillow, even a pillow wrapped in a blanket does a great job. So we're going to get started laying down on our backs today in a supine bound angle pose. So bring the soles of your feet to touch, your knees will come wide. And you can rest your arms by your side with your palms facing up. If this feels nice for you, stay here. But if you'd like to find a bit of a deeper opening in your heart and your chest, bring this bolster towards your low back, placing it right at the base of your spine. And then rec recline back so your chest and head is supported. Just taking a few breaths here to come onto your mat. Noticing how you're feeling your body today. And not just physically but also mentally and emotionally. Perhaps you're noticing areas in your body that are feeling a little bit tight or tense today. Or maybe your mind is focusing on some tasks, some to-do lists. And if that's the case, with every inhale, try to bring your attention, your inner gaze towards your body, towards your breath. And with every exhale, try to allow these distractions, these tensions to fade away. Letting this practice to be complete focus in on you and on your breath. Once you're feeling a bit more grounded here, start to deepen your breath. Breathing in through your nose. And slowly exhaling out of your nose. Breathing in nice and big, create space in your body. Exhale to empty out. find that your mind is still wandering, if you have a hard time focusing on your breath, give yourself a count here of four. Taking a breath in for one, two, three, and four. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. You can continue counting in your head if you'd like. So noticing the ebb and flow of your breath. next inhale, take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and sigh it out. One more time. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, release. If you're on a bolster or a pillow, just begin to roll to one side. Remove this bolster away. Coming back down onto your back. 
With an inhale, reach your arms above your head. Lengthen your legs long down your mat. Turn into a full body stretch. Try to reach your fingertips far away from your toes. Take another breath in. And exhale, curl your knees to your chest. Wrap your arm around your leg. You can sway side to side. Massage the muscles along your spine. And slowing this rock down. Bring your hands towards the back side of your knees. Begin to rock and roll up and down the length of your spine, the length of your mat. Once you've gained enough momentum at the top, cross your ankles, plant your hands, and shift forward to a tabletop. Stacking your shoulders over your wrists, hips will come over your knees, and spine is nice and long. With your inhale, begin to dip your belly low to your mat, tilting your tailbone and your chest high up to the ceiling. Exhale, round your spine, press your hands into your mat, gaze to your belly button. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, cow pose. Exhale, coil and tuck your chin to your chest for cat. Three more cycles of breath, moving here as fast or as slow as you'd like. Eyes can be opened or closed. Just focusing on the sensations in your spine, in your hips, in your shoulders. One more cycle. Returning to your neutral spine, your tabletop. Try to reach your crown away from your hips as you breathe in. And exhale, draw your right shoulder towards your right hip, creating a C shape in your spine. Inhale to center, table. Exhale, C shape to the left. Two more times on each side. Inhale through center. Exhale to bend. Inhale through table. Exhale to lean. One more cycle here. And returning to center. Root your left palm down into your mat. Inhale, begin to lift your right fingertips towards the right side or even up towards the ceiling for a twist. Exhale, brush your fingertips back down towards your mat. Two more times, inhale, reach up, gaze to your fingers, exhale to close. One more time, inhale, reach, exhale, thread your right arm underneath the left, resting down on right shoulder and right cheek, thread the needle. Your left hand might stay where it is, or you can reach your arm out in front of you. If you'd like to deepen this twist, you can lift your left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Bring your hands towards your hips, coming to a bind. Two more cycles of breath. Inhale, lift your arm up towards the ceiling. If it's in a bind, exhale, press yourself back up towards your table. Switching sides, ground down to your right palm. Inhale, left fingertips will lift. Exhale to lower. Two more pulses. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to brush down. Last cycle here. Inhale, look to your fingertips. Exhale, thread your left arm underneath the right, resting on your shoulder and your cheek. Choosing any variation you'd like with your right arm. Maybe coming into your twist or coming into your bind. If it feels like your weight is coming into your neck and your head, you can draw your hips slightly back. If you're in a bind, begin to drop your hand back down to the ground. And rise up to your tabletop. Spread your fingers wide, curl your toes into the floor, begin to press your hips up and back behind you, downward facing dog. 
We'll find some movement here so you can pedal your legs out, bending one knee followed by the other. And adding in any other movements you need here to help wake up your body. So it might be a shift in your hips side to side, maybe a shake in your head. You can lift both heels high up to the ceiling with an inhale. And drop your heels low to the mat with your exhale. So when you're feeling ready, slow your movements down, settling into your downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze to your fingertips, come up high to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees and tiptoe towards the front of your mat for forward fold. Feet are hip width apart. Inhale, halfway lift, reach your crown away from your hips. Exhale to fold. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift, draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale, release and come into your rag doll. Catching hold of opposite elbows with your hands. Softening your knees, relaxing your chest, your belly down towards your thighs. You might stay in stillness here. We can find a little flow swaying side to side with your upper body. Or a gentle pulse up and down. As well, you can shake your head no. Shake your head yes, releasing tension from your neck. And slow on your movements. Release your elbows. And begin to roll up to stand, big one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. Your head will be the last thing to lift. Inhale, lift your arms up towards the ceiling, bring your palms to touch. Exhale, lower hands to your heart center, equal standing pose. Inhale, sweep your arms up high. Exhale, hinge at your hips, bend your knees slightly as you dive forward. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale to fold two more times. Inhale, rise up, biceps come by your ears. Exhale, palms touch and lower to your heart. Equal standing pose, some C to heave. Inhale, sweep your arms high to the ceiling. Exhale, hinge and fold. Halfway lift, breathe and find flat back. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise up tall, palms connect. Exhale, lower your hands to your heart, samasthiti to heave. Inhale, circle your arms up high. Exhale, dive forward, heart will lead the way. Halfway lift, inhale. Switching things up, exhale, plant your hands, keep your right foot where it is, step your left foot far back. Drop your left knee down to the ground. And begin to lift your chest, lift your arms, low lunge pose. With your inhale, you're going to lift the crown of your head up high towards the ceiling, lengthening your spine. And with your exhale, often sink a little bit deeper here into your hips. Noticing a stretch for some sensations in the front of your left thigh, your hip flexor. Continue to breathe nice and deep. One more breath in. Exhale, plant your hands, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, step your right foot to plank. Drop your knees to your mat, lower to your belly. Untuck your toes, inhale, V to cobra, just lifting your chest. Exhale, release down. One more time. Inhale, loop your shoulders up and back, V to cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise to tabletop. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Switching sides, inhale, lift your left heel high. Exhale, round your knee to your nose, try to step your foot between your hands. If it doesn't make it all the way there, you can help your foot out with your hand. And then drop your right knee down to the ground. Lift your arms, lift your chest, low lunge pose. Inhale, so rise up nice and tall. Exhale, option to sink into your foundation. Your gaze can stay forward, keeping a neutral spine. Or you can begin to lift your gaze up towards the ceiling, cultivating a baby back bend. 
Staying strong in your belly. Trying to keep your front ribs hugging in towards one another. One more inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, tuck your right toes, lift your knees, set your foot forward into a fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, release. Root down, rise up tall, bring your palms to touch. Exhale, lower hands to your heart. Start to interlace your fingers. Flip your palms to face forward and scoop them high up towards the ceiling. Standing up nice and tall as you breathe in. Exhale, begin to bend towards the right. Inhale, rise through center. Same side, exhale, lean. One more pulse here, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, lean and hold, crescent moon pose. If you're feeling some tension in your low back here, try to draw your tailbone down towards your heels. And you might begin to lift your gaze up high to the ceiling. Inhale, rise up through center. Exhale, side bend towards the left. Inhale to lengthen. Two more times. Exhale to lean. Last one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lean and hold. Crescent moon pose. Three cycles of breath. Gaze can stay where it is or you can lift your gaze here. And try to peel your top shoulder back behind you. Inhale up through center. Exhale, release your grip, press your hands wide and bring your hands towards your low back. Sink them on your back as if you're about to slide in some jean pockets. Draw your elbows close towards one another. Press your hips forward, lift your chest, and begin to lift your gaze here for a standing supported back bend. Breathing in nice and deep, filling up your chest with every inhale. One more breath in. Exhale, keep the hands at your hips, fold forward, slide your hands down your thighs. Halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, plant your hands, keep your left foot where it is, step your right foot far back. Drop your right knee to your mat. Lift your arms, rise up, low lunge. Exhale, plant your hands down to the ground. Start to shift your hips back behind you as you lengthen your front leg, flexing your foot for a half split pose. Your hands might just stay down on the ground. If you do have your blocks or two books, you can bring your hands to those. With an inhale, try to lengthen your spine here as if you're in a halfway lift. Exhale, draw your chest down to your belly. Two more times, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to release. One more, inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold and hold here, three breaths. Notice the sensations in your left thigh, left hamstring. Try to stand your breath here to find some relief. If you're using blocks, you can set those aside. Start to walk your hands forward, lunging into your knees. Tuck your right toe, lift your knee off your mat. Step your left foot to plank. Option to drop your knees or keep them floating as you lower down to your belly. Two baby cobras. Inhale, lift your chest. Engage the muscles in your low back. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise up, stay light in your hands, maybe even floating them. Exhale to fold. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, keep your right heel up high to the ceiling. Exhale, step your foot forward. Drop your left knee. One breath, rise up, low lunge. Exhale, plant your hands. Start to press your hips back, lengthening your front leg and flexing your foot, half split pose. Hands to your mat or hands to the blocks. Inhale, reach your crown forward. Exhale, draw up your crown low. Two more cycles. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Last one. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, melt your chest to your thigh and pause here. Your head will hang heavy. Notice how this pose feels on the right compared to the left. 
Continue to breathe. Setting your blocks aside, start to walk your hands forward. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, step your foot forward into your fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Root down through your feet, rise up tall, bring your biceps by your ears. Keeping them there with your exhale, bend into your knees, sinking your hips down and back. We won't be here for long, take a breath in. With your exhale, circle your hands behind your back, start to interlace your fingers. Peel the spine behind as you lift your chest, inhale. With keeping your knees bent, with your exhale, fold forward. Your belly and chest will drop towards your thighs. Trying to keep your chest glued to your legs, you keep your knees bent. Or you can start to lengthen your legs, so you're lifting your hips up high to the ceiling. One more cycle of breath with your body. We'll start to release your grip. Drop your hands to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Right foot stays where it is. Step your left foot far back. Drop your left knee. One breath, low lunge, rise up. Exhale, plant your hands. Bring your left palm to a block or down to your mat. I mean to sweep your right fingertips up high to the ceiling. We're going to stay here with our left knee on the mat. And you can stay in this variation of your low lunge twist. We're going to come into a quad stretch. For your quad stretch, bend your left heel in towards your hip. And try to circle your right arm back towards your foot. You might catch hold. If you are just a centimeter or really close to your foot, but you're not quite catching it, you might use this block. You might come onto your fingertips, or you can use a strap if you have that. If you have hold of your foot, gently release it down. Lift your arm up high towards the ceiling. Exhale, plant your right hand towards the inside of your right foot. And toe heel your right foot wide. You might even come off of your mat, coming to a lizard stance. If you notice your right knee is forward above your toes, you might shimmy your left leg slightly back behind you. And we have lots of options here. You might stay exactly as you are. You can tuck your left toes and float your left knee coming to your dragon expression. You can stay on your hands, or if you like to come deeper, you might bring your forearms either to a block or down towards the ground. Taking a few cycles of breath, wherever you find yourself. Notice how this pose feels with your right knee stacked over your ankle. And if you'd like to find a deeper opening, pivot your toes out towards the right. Roll to the pinky edge of your right foot, your knee will fall towards the side. Three more cycles of breath. Noticing its flow through your body. Last cycle. If you're on your forearms, rise up, up onto your hands. Toe, heel your foot back to center. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, step your right foot to plank. Lower down, exhale. Inhale, baby cobra, lift your chest. Exhale to release one more time. Rise up, maybe float your hands. Exhale to lower. Tabletop, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left heel high up to the ceiling. Exhale, step your foot forward between your hands. Drop your right knee, low lunge, big breath, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Right hand comes to a block and comes down to your mat. Left fingertips lift up high to the ceiling. Low lunge twist, twisting towards your front thigh. You can stay here or begin to come into your quad stretch, lifting your right heel in towards your hips. Left hand will circle back and it might catch hold of your foot. If it doesn't, that's okay. 
Rather than pulling your foot in towards your body with your hand, try to use the muscles in your leg to draw your foot in. Without slingshotting your foot, gently release it down. Lift your arm up high, breathe in. Exhale, plant your hand to the inside of your left foot and toe heel your left foot out wide, creating space for your hips, coming to your lizard stance. You might need to walk your right knee back slightly. And then take any expression that's calling out to you here. Your right knee can stay lowered or you can lift your right knee. Staying on your hands, you may be coming to forearms to a block or to your mat. You can keep your left knee stacked over your ankle or beginning to roll to the picky edge of your left foot, knee will come out wide. Knowing that this pose might not look the same on the right and the left, and that's okay. Just trying to acknowledge and honor the differences in your body today. Three more breaths. If you're on your forearms, rise back up onto your hands. Toe heel your left foot back to center. Tuck your right toes, float your right knee, gaze forward, and step your right foot forward into a fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, release. Rise up tall, bring your biceps by your ears. You can gaze to your fingertips. Exhale, fold, heart leading the way. Root your left fingertips down into your mat, bend into your left knee. And begin to lift your right fingertips up towards the ceiling for a twist. Take three cycles of breath here. With every inhale, try to lengthen your spine. With every exhale, try to deepen your twist. One more inhale. Exhale, plant your right fingertips, bend into your right knee on the switch side. Left fingertips will lift. Three breaths. One more sip of breath in. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hand, left foot stays where it is, right foot will step back. Drop your right knee. Lift your arms, low lunge, big breath in. Exhale, plant your hands down. Right palm comes to your block, comes to your mat. Left fingertips will float up high to the ceiling, low lunge twist. Staying here once again, or start to tuck your right toe and lift your right knee, inviting some fire into your right thigh. Similar to the twist we were in before, with every inhale, try to reach your crown forward. And with every exhale, engage the muscles in your belly, try to deepen this twist. If your knee is lowered, Begin to tuck your toes, lift your knee, take one more big breath in. With your exhale, plant your hand to the inside of your left foot and start to walk your hands over towards the right, pausing when you come to the middle of your mat. Inhale for a halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, draw the crown of your head low to your mat for a wide-legged forward fold. We'll pause here. Your hands can stay where they are. You might reach towards your ankles, your toes. You could walk your hands back behind you between your thighs. You might come into your ragdoll shape. And if you have an inversion in your practice, a tripod, a headstand, now is a great time to play with that pose. Noticing the sensations in the outer edge of your feet, your shins and calves, your thighs, and feeling the stretch all the way up to your low back. Start to bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. 
Inhale to the halfway lift. With your exhale, start to side lunge towards the right. Bend into your right knee. Hands will walk towards your right foot. Your left leg will straighten. Inhale to center. Exhale, side lunge towards the left. One more cycle here. Your hands might stay on your mat or you can float your hands off the ground. Inhale to center. Exhale, lunge to the left. Inhale through center. Plant your hands under your shoulders. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips and rise all the way up to stand. Pivot your hips and feet to face forward. Step your back foot to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift your biceps up by your ears. You might lean your chest back slightly. Exhale, hinge and dive forward. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands. Right foot stays, left foot steps back. Drop your left knee. Low lunge, inhale, rise up. Exhale to plant your hands. Rooting through your left palm, you need to lift your right fingertips up high, twisting towards your front thigh, low lunge twist. Stay here or tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, three full cycles of breath. With every inhale, lengthen. With every exhale, twist. If your back knee is still lower, start to tuck your left toe, lift your left knee, take a big breath in. Exhale, plant your hands to the inside of your right foot and walk your hands towards the left, pausing your wide-legged fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale to release and pause here. Maybe try a different expression with your hands this time. Noticing where the weight is in your feet. And for this pose, try to draw your weight forward into the balls of your feet, into your toes. Helping to stack your hips right over your ankles. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Coming to a similar twist we were in before. Ground down with your left hand. With your inhale, lift your right fingertips up high to the ceiling. Exhale, plant your right hand, switch sides right away, left fingertip will lift as you breathe in. Breathe out, plant your hands, move through two more cycles on each side. Inhale, twisting on the right. Exhale to fold. Inhale, twisting on the left. Exhale to center. One more cycle here, moving with your breath. Meeting in your fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips and rise up to stand. Pivot your hips to face forward. Step your back foot in. Inhale, lift your arm, lift your gaze. Exhale, hinge forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, plant your hands, step your feet to plank. Drop your knees to your mat, lower to your belly. Two baby cobras, inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise, engage the muscles in your back. Exhale to lower. Tabletop, inhale. This time for exhale, drop your hips to your heels for a child's pose. Keeping your knees in the width that they are in. Your palms can stay facing down to the ground, or you can flip your palms up towards the ceiling. See if your triceps a little stretch. If you've lost your deep rhythmic breath, try to invite it back into your body here. Begin to slowly press yourself up to a seated position, stacking your shoulders over your hips, and then rise up onto your knees here. Hands will come to your hips. 
Begin to lengthen your right leg out towards the side. And don't want your knees to be pointing up towards the ceiling. Your foot might stay flat, or you can point your toes down towards your mat. Try and keep your hips and the shoulders squared. Open your arms wide into a T. Take a breath in. Exhale, drop your right hand to your thigh. Lift your left arm up and over your head for gate pose. Three cycles of breath. Maybe after a few breaths, your fingertips might slide slightly further down your thighs. One more cycle. Engage the muscles in your belly to rise up through center. Plant your left hand down to the ground. Circle your right arm up over your head. Half circle pose. Three cycles of breath. Taking big, expansive breaths in. Creating space between your right ribs. Engaging your belly. Rise up through center. Hands to your hips, draw your right knee in. Switching sides, extend your left leg out, knee will point to the ceiling. Open your arms wide, breathe in. Breathe out, side bend towards the left, gate pose. Your gaze can stay where it naturally falls. Or you can start to lift your gaze up to the ceiling and try to peel this top shoulder back behind you, rotating your chest, and rotating your heart. Begin to rise up through center. Plant your right hand down to the ground. Left arm will circle up and over your head. Half circle pose. Three breaths. Notice the sensation in the left side of your body as you find some opening and find some length. Rising up through center. Hands to your heart, draw your knee in. Drop your hips to your heels. Bring your hips to one side of your leg and circle your legs forward in front of you. If you're towards the back of your mat like we are, scoop your hips in towards your heels. Your knees will bend, feet are planted. Reach your arms forward, take a breath in. And with your exhale, slowly lower down, being one vertebra at a time, nice and slow. Bring your hands by your hips. Feet will come about hip width apart. Heels stack underneath your knees. We'll take one back bend pose. Ground down through your hands, ground down through your feet. With your inhale, lift your hips up high to the ceiling. Bridge pose. Trying to engage the muscles in your quads, engage the muscles in your glutes to lift your hips. If you have a block here and you'd like some support, you can place the block underneath your back, your sacrum. And if you'd like to come deeper into the shape, interlace your fingers behind your back and walk your shoulder blades close to one another like Shannon is. One more inhale, try to lift your hips slightly higher. Exhale, drop your hips to your mat, step your feet mat width apart, and windshield wipe your knees side to side. Setting up as if you're coming into your bridge pose, bend your knees, plant your feet, but grab hold of either your block, your blanket, or your bolster, and we'll slide this right underneath your low back, your sacrum. Drop your hips back down onto the support. And then begin to curl your right knee into your chest. Wrap your arms around your right leg. From here, when you are ready, begin to lengthen your left leg out in front of you. Try to ground your left heel towards the mat, but if it is floating, that's okay. Coming to a very gentle hip opening pose here. Feeling a stretch in the front of your left thigh, your hip flexor. Start to bend into your left leg, plant your foot to the ground and release your right knee. 
Switching sides, hug your left knee in, wrap your arms around your leg, and begin to lengthen your right leg out long. Letting gravity work its magic here. We find a gentle opening in the front of your right thigh. Try to send your breath there, helping to create some space. Bending to your right knee, plant your foot down, release your left leg. You can stay here in a restorative bridge pose with your feet planted, knees bent. You can tent your knees in towards one another for some support. Or come into your waterfall, lifting your heels up towards the ceiling. Your arms will stay down on the ground. You can rest your arms on your body. Or you can lift your arms up towards your feet, towards the sky as well. Notice the sensations in your toes, your feet, your legs, as your blood returns towards your core and towards your heart center. Feeling a sense of rejuvenation. underneath your hips or move the block. Open your arms wide into a T. Curl your knees to your chest. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Drop your knees towards the left. Engage to your right fingertips for a supine twist. You can stay where you are with your knees stacked. Or you can straighten your right leg out towards the side. You might bring your left hand to your right thigh, adding a gentle pressure down. Or you bring your left fingers, peace fingers, to catch hold of your big right toe. Sending your breath to your belly, to your low back, creating space there. With your next inhale, lift your gaze, lift your knees. Exhale, drop your knees over towards the right, engage to the left, twisting in the opposite direction. Staying here or coming into another variation that's calling out to you. Imagine that your body is a washcloth. With every exhale, you're wringing your body out. Letting go of what no longer serves you today. Inhale, lift your knees, lift your gaze. Wrap your arms around your legs, give yourself a hug. And draw your forehead up towards your knees, squeezing into a tight ball. Squeezing as tight as you can, take a breath in. And exhale, open and expand to your corpse pose, Shavasana. If you do have that pillow, blanket, or bolster, you might place this beneath your knees here for a little support. Letting the benefits of the practice wash over you from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. And if you're noticing any areas of tension that you're still holding on to, 
Try to use your exhales to wash that tension away. Taking two clearing breaths. Inhale through your nose, nice and big. Exhale, side out your mouth. One more time. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, release. Seal your lips together. And allow your natural breath to return to your body. Feel yourself growing heavier and heavier. And imagine that you're sinking down to the ground, down to the earth beneath you. Staying here as long as you'd like. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.